Hey guys, so today I have a really big empties video for you. Um, I've been saving up the stuff, I don't know, I guess it's only been like a month, but it feels like a really long time because I have a lot of stuff this month. So, um, I wanted to start off with the Frederick Vakai Advanced Brilliant Glossing Cream. <laughs> And this is a mini of it. I really love this stuff. I go through this stuff like crazy. I've been using it for literally years. And I can't stop. Because it makes my hair so soft and so smooth. So I have an empty of that. Let me just get my little bag to put this all in. Um, the next thing that I used up is a white tea and ginger body wash. Haley. It's a white tea and ginger body wash from Bath and Body Works. This stuff was okay. It was from um, like their classic line or something like that when it's on sale they don't really have it in stores anymore but it's only it smells pretty good yeah it's kind of like a generic soap scent so I like that and then also from Bath and Body Works I finished a up a hand soap this is the pumpkin caramel latte that's what it looks like I've actually finished a few of these like hand soaps I just put one in here because what's the point of having like 10,000 different soaps Unless you guys want to see 10,000 different kinds of soaps, then let me know because we go through those like crazy. Uh, the next thing that I finished up is the John Frieda Brilliant Brunette Starlit Waves Wave Enhancing Spray. I've had this for a long time. It was like, it's okay. Like, I had to force myself to put it in my hair after I showered just so I could use it up. Like, it's just, like, whatever. I would not repurchase that again. Um, I also finished a Queen Helene the original mint julep mask. I love this stuff. This stuff is so good. It's like three or four dollars. And I know you can get it at Walmart. I think they have it at like CVS, but I'm not too sure. I usually would just order mine online, like at Ulta or drugstore.com. It is so good. It clears up my skin like nothing. I think that I, I mean I have tried the Glam Glow recently and it it kind of does the same thing. But Glam Glow is like $70 and this has this is like $4. And I think the only difference really um, on the way it affects my skin is that the Glam Glow has those little like beads in it, like the exfoliator beads, but I mean I could always exfoliate my face after anyway. So I finished that and then I also um, finally was finished with this Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse. Um, I used mine as in the shade Light 4 Nude. And this is a good foundation, um, however I have, I'm trying to move on to other things. So, uh... Oh, here's another one. Um, Alterna Hep Organics Color Hold Shine Conditioner. I hated this stuff. Like, the scent of it is so strange. Ugh, it's like a really sweetened citrus, like artificial citrus scent. Oh, it smells disgusting. I usually like Alterna products. I bought these when they were on sale, and they are just like the worst. And I have like... The sh I have another shampoo and then I have like another one of these conditioners. I'm just trying to get through it, but it's like, ugh, I hate it so much. Um, I also finished up another body lotion. This is uh, L'Occitane Gen Extra Gentle Body Lotion. I love this stuff. It kind of smells like baby powder. It kind of smells like a grown baby powder scent, um, but I really like it. It's very lightweight um, and milky, so if you like those kinds of lotions, give it a try because it's awesome and here I am with a yes to cucumbers a soothing hyper hypoallergenic facial towelettes I love the I love these um, I use them at night sometimes I'm too tired to make take off my makeup after work so I'll just like rub one on my face before I fall asleep because I feel like it's better than nothing because before I just would not even do anything like I would just literally be like whatever and I like these because like my face is really sensitive to like how do I say it? um like, you know when you use face wipes and they leave kind of like a residue on your face and then you feel it for like, you know, like half an hour after you're done using the wipe and it's like, why is this happening to me? It feels sticky and gross. Well, this doesn't leave that. It literally feels like water. So, hey, Lee, be quiet. So if you like, um, I don't know, if you like stuff like that, <laughs> give that a try if you haven't already because it's, it's pretty cool. Um, I also used up a Nukes. This is a Youth and Radiance Revealing Fluid. This was pretty good. It made my skin uh, look very radiant, I want to say. Um, and it did, this little, this is a sample size. It lasted me quite a while. Then I finished a Origins Clear Improvement 
active charcoal mask to clear pores. It's also mini size. My friend gave this to me. I think she got it as like a sample from somewhere. It was okay. It didn't really do anything for me that like I noticed. But it was a pretty cool mask. And I heard I heard good things about it, but it didn't really do anything for me. Um, here is a Maybelline Expert Wear a brownish black eyeliner. I hate this stuff. I it took me forever to you just use it up because I just ugh. pointless. I would not repurchase that again. Um, I also finished a Revlon a Nearly Naked a powder. This is in 010 Fair. And it's missing. Oh, let me try to open it. It's missing the little thing because it fell out and then I used it up and I threw it away. But it's um, pr it was actually a really good powder. It's like, I want to say it's around $10. But I used a coupon so I got it for like $5. And it's good. I definitely would repurchase again. However, I'm trying to use up all of my other powders. So I won't be for a while. Um, here is a Lancome ton Tonic Radiance Lotion Exfoliant Clarif Clarifying Exfoliating Toner. I don't know what I was reading. I think I was reading... No, that's not French, so I don't know what that is. But anyway, um, I finished one of these. This is actually a sample size, if you believe it or not, uh, that I got from a Lancome gift with purchase a while back. It's okay. I mean, it does its job. It definitely takes off, like, the excess makeup on your face, but, uh, I don't know. I don't think I would repurchase it because I wasn't, like, blown away by it. And then, the last few things. Um, I finished a L'Occitane hand cream. This is, like, a miniature size. I love this stuff. It also has that baby powder scent that I was talking about with the other L'Occitane body lotion. I really like it. I, at first I hated it, but it's, it's grown on me in such a great way. I love these things. Um, an, an Estee Lauder Resilience Lift Firming Sculpting Face and Neck Cream in a Broad Spectrum SPF 15. This stuff smells freaking amazing. I don't know what it is, but this like Estee Lauder um, line in the pink smells so good. And um, I really like this moisturizer. I got this as a gift with purchase as well, if you believe it. Like, that's crazy. It lasted me, like, two months, maybe more. I don't know. I can't keep track of time. But it's lasted me a long time, and I really like it. Um, this is, I'm just throwing this away. This is a Dove Sensitive Skin Unscented Invisible Solid. Oh, God. You know, I switched to the La Vanilla deodorants, and I just cannot go back to anything like this. I tried this again after switching, and it is just terrible like oh I don't think it was like a good deodorant to begin with but it's just terrible like it won't go on it, just everything about it I hate now because I love the love vanilla deodorants so much um yeah oh this lasted me a whole year and I know that because my friend gave it to me on Christmas maybe more than a year six months yeah it's lasted me six months because my friend gave it to me for Chris like a set for Christmas and I used one up and then this one I finished recently and whatever. That's lasted me six months. And I keep it in my car. And it was good to me. Um, this is the Baby Lip Sunscreen SPF 20. And it had a, a, a minty scent and it was clear. So if those things matter to you, minty and clear, that's what this one is. Good. I love Baby Lips. I definitely would repurchase that one again. And the last but not least, I have a candle. This is the Voluspa Champagne Rose. Mmm, it smells so good. I really like these Voluspa candles. They're not overly um, heavily perfumed, so they just kind of leave like a nice scent. And then this one lasts a long time. This has lasted me as long as one of those giant, no, longer than one of those giant Bath and Body Works candles. So keep that in mind. All right, and then that's it. That's my little empties video. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, concerns, all that good stuff. And I'll see you next time. Bye.